Good evening. My name is Jack Lamb, and I'm privileged to stand before you this evening as a salutatorian of the class of 2015. Of course, I must begin by recognizing all parents, grandparents, friends, siblings, and all other extended family members in attendance tonight. Undoubtedly, each one of you has played an integral role in shaping one or more of the gifted graduates seated before you this joyous night. Secondly, although I cannot accurately represent the gratitude of each member in this class, I would like to offer a zealous thank you to each teacher and faculty member present tonight. Without your collective's efforts and support, my fellow graduates and I would not possess the knowledge or fortitude of character necessary to have navigated years of rigorous education. Without question, the 65 men and women seated before you and on stage tonight have quite a few people to be thankful for. As I began to ponder how to accurately represent the spirit of the class of 2015, I was quickly stumped. From the academic prowess of this group as a whole, to the sheer wit of countless members, to the overflowing sarcasm of many and the tender love and care shared by all, a single word or concept does not do this class justice. The last four years have been a wild ride, culminating in this night's ceremony to commemorate achievements past and offer a benediction for endeavors yet to come. It is upon this unknown future that I wish to speak. Over the last four years, and frankly throughout life, the world has attempted to offer its own spin on what it means to be successful. Commonly generalized as gaining wealth, power, or respect, all admirable goals in their own right do not do justice to the richer definition of success that has been revealed to me over the last four years. Living a life centered upon a personal relationship with Christ while seeking out, embracing, and powering through uncomfortable situations in an effort to create a better world. Allow me to elaborate. Standing before you as a veteran of 12 years in private Christian education, I've certainly come to understand the intricacies of passing a Bible class and attending weekly chapels. Although these aforementioned practices have, absolutely, have been absolutely paramount in shaping the building blocks of my faith in Christ, I'm now beginning to fully understand the power of shaping my own faith and hope to impart some of this knowledge to you. Class of 2015, obviously, as we venture out into this world, temptations will attack us from every angle. Consequently, an impersonal faith will become porous, if not rooted to the base of our souls. Because of this, I encourage each of you to discover faith anew, seek out and attend church throughout college, intentionally surround yourself with uplifting Christian mentors, and most importantly, do not rely on experiences past to carry you through the next four years. This will not work. After choosing my own church and choosing to uphold my own faith over the past years, I've become a stronger man in Christ, a, sex a successful follower of God prepared to embrace the challenges in years to come. Simply giving this speech leads me to my next point, the uncomfortable. My own horrific discomfort regarding this speech to a crowd of this magnitude takes my breath away. This world will undoubtedly tell each and every one of you that being a successful man or woman involves making good money, garnering the respect of your peers, or leading a powerful organization or company. In truth, these are all goals of mine. I count them worthy and true, yet other, utterly incomplete. As a brief allegory, let me tell you about freshman Jack Lamb. Jack was a horribly narrow-minded 14-year-old, seeing no value in art, aesthetic beauty, or literature of any kind. Consequently, as Mr. Lamb walked into first period photography on the first year of the first day of high school, he didn't know what to expect and had predetermined that he would knock out his required art credits as quickly as possible to focus on the important classes of high school. Yet the Jack Lamb that stands at the podium this evening retains photography as his hobby of choice and creative breath of fresh air. In hindsight, I was learning that in order to become a successful, well-rounded individual, I had to embrace and forge a respect and love for disciplines that were outside of my understanding. Truthfully, where would the world stand today if men and women did not take the time to jump from their personal comfort zones? The mundane and the predictable will always be charming fallbacks, but the richest experiences of life occur just outside the realm of coziness. Why not take a couple steps beyond what you think you can handle? See where those steps lead you. I guarantee the results will be satisfying. Class of 2015, I love each and every one of you. I appreciate your wild side and your ability to drop all else and have a memorable time. As the years continue to fly by, there is no doubt in my mind that each one of you will do incredible things. There is no doubt that each one of you will forge your own path. There's no doubt that each one of you will create for the world. 
I encourage you to cherish those who love you the most while seeking out new paths of expansion. Do not allow the world to ever place labels upon you or tell you what success is. You're all beautiful men and women, created in God's image. Go forth and seek him and seek the uncomfortable. You will not be disappointed. Thank you.